Welcome to the SIM e-tutorial series on image manipulation guidance, producing journal quality figures. This is the second in a series of individual tutorials that explain and show how to produce figures that meet the specified requirements of various scientific journals and other publications. In this tutorial, images from a picture archiving and communication system using a computed tomography example is demonstrated. The major objectives of this e-tutorial are to show how to produce journal quality figures from PAX images with the following steps identified. One, to identify, grayscale adjust, and export images to a standard image output format. Two, to crop the image of unwanted content. Three, to use software to change image resolution and image dimensions as specified by the journal. Four, to save the manipulated image to a standard format, such as tagged image file format, and five, to show how the author can verify the figure quality and dimensions by exporting the final processed figure to a word processing program. The components used in this tutorial include a typical clinical PACS with image export capabilities, a desktop computer system with Windows XP operating system, software freely available from the web called IRFNView, and a typical word processing software program for the verification step. The following will be demonstrated. Access to PACS to identify the CT image of interest. Adjust the image grayscale and export that image to the disk. Subsequently access the image with the image software IRFNView. Crop, change resolution, and size adjust the image, convert the bit depth to grayscale and save the image, and then finally to verify the output with word processor software. PACS access to the images and knowledge of image export capabilities as necessary and assumed in this example. A specific CT image is desired. One can scroll through the images and upon finding an image that is slated for the figure, one can see in this example that the grayscale rendition isn't actually optimal. So by changing the window and level characteristics there are a wide variety of different display options and it is crucial at this point to ensure that the grayscale is rendered properly. Here we have the proper grayscale rendition and the next step is to save the image to the disk. For this PAX we use image to file and because I am not sure of what if any JPEG compression is performed on the file I choose to save this as a TIFF file instead. Selecting an appropriate file folder output I will save this as CT figure 1 original. and save to disk. IRFNView software is illustrated as one solution to subsequent modification of the resolution and size of the image. First, open the image file. Selecting the original image, now one can begin the manipulation. I want to draw your attention to the lower left hand corner of the IRFNView main screen which indicates the pixel dimensions, the matrix size, and the number of bits per pixel. For this image there are three bytes or 24 bits of information or eight bits for each red, green, and blue intensity that convey the color data. While necessary for color only eight bits is required for grayscale. Converting to grayscale will be shown as the last step. Cropping the image, if necessary, can be performed using IRFNView by placing the mouse over the image, clicking the left mouse button, and dragging the rectangle over the important area of interest. Go to the Edit tab and to the Crop Selection, and the information will be cropped according to the user-directed rectangle. If a mistake is made, undo the step with the undo command or control Z. Next, go to the image tab on the main menu and select the resize resample submenu. Here we have some information that indicates the DPI 
or resolution in the lower left hand box and to increase to 300 dpi just simply select the 96 that's current and type in 300. The next issue is moving up two boxes and setting the actual size in inches. So checking the inches box we see that the current width and height is 1.18 inches and 0.98 inches respectively. For our purpose of a column size article we will make this a 3 inch box. Notice that the height automatically changes according to the fact that we have also included the preserve aspect ratio checked box. Finally in the lower right hand column box the size method is the way in which interpolation is performed. The default value using a Lanskos filter is just one method of image interpolation that does a very nice job. If you want pixel replication, which I do not recommend, you could check the resize box. Saying OK will actually change the characteristics of the image. And now our image has been changed to 900 pixels by 745 pixels by 24 bits per pixel. Even though the appearance of the image appears to be unchanged, actually it has now the characteristics required by the journal. However, since the image only has grayscale, one can also convert the image to grayscale by using the image tab and going to the convert to grayscale and notice that now we have 8 bits per pixel which is perfectly adequate for rendering grayscale characteristics within the image. Now we can save this image using the save as. Going back to the original folder we can call this CT Figure 1 Final and save to disk. That's it. We're done with the CT image figure. The verification step involves the use of a word processor importing the figure. For this example, Microsoft Word is used. Open a blank document as illustrated here. Go to the Insert, Tab, Picture, From File, and now we will include the final image that we produced. And what I want to point out in this case is that the figure is three inches in width and approximately two and a half inches in height and appearance of the image looks reasonable. Just for a comparison we can go ahead and insert picture from file putting in the original picture and note that this image is much bigger it appears to be of similar quality but when the journal takes this image content and tries to reproduce it it will not appear correct. So this demonstrates the use of IrfanView in being able to produce a journal quality figure. The take home points for this tutorial are to understand that image characteristics including resolution, bit depth, and dimensions are key aspects of producing journal quality figures. Manipulating images requires adjustments including increasing the resolution, scaling the width and height, performing image interpolation, and ensuring correct grayscale display to meet the journal requirements. Details and specific information are included in the SIMI tutorial series on image manipulation guidance. The take home points for this brief explanation of converting a low resolution image from a PAX into a journal quality figure are to adjust the grayscale settings before exporting the image and use TIFF files as the export target if available. For image manipulation, crop unimportant image content, adjust resolution to the required dots per inch, resize width interpolation to the width in inches or centimeters as specified by the journal, and finally convert to grayscale output if no color is present before saving the file to disk. You are done with producing your journal quality figure. Congratulations! The next e tutorial in the series will examine two other image types, a chest x-ray and a digital mammogram, the latter having special requirements for rendering microcalcifications with appropriate detail. These tutorials are produced by the Society for Imaging Informatics and Medicine with help, assistance, and direction by Nicole Smith, Caroline Wilson, and Anna Marie Mason. I, Tony Seibert, am responsible for the content, so please direct questions or comments to my email address jaseibert at ucdavis.edu. 
Thank you for your attention, and I sincerely hope the content lends to your understanding and ability to manipulate and produce journal quality figures. Thank you.